should be good. Gonna respond. Okay, let me check the light. You want something? You no. need something? Hi coach. Uh, How you doing? Another week here in the episode 3 of Weekly Update. Um, tough week, I suppose, after losing against Madrid Bravos in the first match between Spanish franchise. But as we always you say, no, uh, once the match is over, 24, 48 hours and go to the next one. Yeah, exactly. Um, we are going to analyze uh, that match and the one coming up next week and it's our inaugural week in Badalona. Can you give me a little analysis of how the match went and how you saw it? Yeah, I think it was, they, uh, we spotted those guys probably 28 points in the first half. You know, you know we didn't win third down at all. First, first, second down we won, that was good. Uh, we stopped the run but we lost third down a lot. And losing third down led to um, three drives, three long drives that scored 21 points, you know, and then plus the fumble on the punt that we caused and they brought it back. So we spotted them 28 from, it's hard to come back from that, yeah. As you say now, in my perspective, as a non-expertise on football, right. I saw that um, a lot of unlucky moments, no, in, in, set, in set ways, no? Yeah, it was, def it was definitely a tale of two halves. First half, we kind of woke up, but you know, you spot guys 28 points, it's tough to come back from that. We, um, and then offense had some shorter drives, right? They didn't sustain a lot of drives. Defense was on the field a lot, so we didn't help. Offense didn't help defense, defense didn't help offense. You know, and when you have that, plus, you know, usually games are won by two or three big plays. They had four big plays, you know, and that kind of swayed it, you know, towards them. And plus being at home, that made a big deal for them too. So it, it just kind of was just too much to overcome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the Dragons Pass holder people ask us that considering that you say in the weekly update one uh, that we had a top difference in the league, why are we having so many failures in assignments and especially in the center of the defense? What, what is the problem that you see? Yeah, I think like we said earlier, you win first down, you win second down, and put them in a position for third and long, we didn't stop them on third down. So, and that happened five times, but three of those drives, they scored 21 points. That's it right there. That just, you have to win third down. You know, and they ran the ball. I think the running back had 49, 48 yards. So stopping the run was great. You know, just, you know, just bad, you know, a lot of passing plays, just a lot of third down things that we just didn't convert and you can't win games if you don't win third down. You got to get off the field. Yeah. They also ask us about money. Uh, we see has very good flashes in some moments, but it's not quite consistent. Uh, we have a hard time connecting with our receivers. So. Well, I think you know, you know, they have, you know, Coach Coop has a plan, right? And I think the, what happens is you have to have more than one guy, right? And we have, you know, besides money. Um, you know, there's other guys that have to show up also. I think it's, you know, if you can distribute the ball to three or four guys, you know, you're gonna, be, you're gonna have some success. When you can't do that, it's tough just going to one guy. So we, you know, that was probably the first time we experienced that. You know, so I, this week, I'm pretty sure they'll fix that. Now, a uh, question that they make a lot, the, the, the fans, about the special teams. They ask us what is happening because now also with the departure of Luis Cerecera, which is being considered to be able to fix the, this unit. Yeah, I think that was a competition between Luis and Sam, right? And so we felt that Sam Romero was a, you know, was a better kicker, so we made that decision. And I think going forward, it's gonna pay us dividends too. I think he's gonna be fine, yeah. And I think that team, that field goal team will get fixed, and then we have a lot of confidence in Sam. I know I do. Okay, about um, other thing that people say, see or say is about uh, the, the, the physical of the team. There is people thinking that maybe it's too much training or whatever because he consider or they consider or see the players sometimes tired or out of the place. How do you see the team now physically? Well, I, well it's football, right? And it's difficult, right? And so the, the, I guess the, the, what it determines what you do on the two days off, you know, are you still working out? 
are you doing conditioning, things like that, because you know, we have a few days, we have a couple of days off during the week, so those days you have to work. And so during the game, you know, some guys get tired. And I know for defense, when you're on the, that second quarter, a lot of plays that second quarter. It's, you know, it's difficult, guys are tired, and there's a lot of plays. So I think you just have to kind of gauge it yourself and get yourself ready for the season, you know. I think most guys are fine. I think the physicality part, it's football, it's always gonna be physical. So that's just something you, you know, you gotta be tough to play this game. You know, it's not easy. Let about Madrid's games, that's enough. And now we are going to put our eyes on the first game in Badalona against mm -hmm. the Old Riders. A team that has just announced the release of his American QB right. four, four days ago. Um, today announced that he played with the backup, no? With the second... Yeah, he plays, he's a quarterback for the AFL team. Yes. And for the, the two year old there, but for the Australian, um, for the, um, the lower division team in Austria, he plays, he's a quarterback for that team. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talking now about this QB and, and this team, what, what, what will we find in front of us with, with this change and with this kind of team? I, they, they probably won't move the pocket as much because he's probably not as athletic as the other guy. But, you know, we see him on film, he's 6'2", big guy, throws the ball, he can make all the throws. So I think in their offense, he's gonna fit, you know, he'll fit seamlessly, right? We just have to prepare as if we were preparing. The difference is he's probably not as mobile, but he still can make all the throws. And we see that on film. Okay. And how do you see this game from the staff side and with the team side, uh, the, the first game at home? How important is uh, the feeling that the team can give to, to our fans? Well, it's important to always play well at home. Right, the fans came to Madrid, which is awesome, seeing them and you know the, the players and congratulate them for coming and thank them for coming. But you have to play well at home, right? So you sleep in your own bed, you don't have to wake up early, you get a good meal in the morning, right, in the afternoon, and you get ready for the game. So all the things are positive, right? We just expect them to bounce back from last week, meaning that offense will play well. We expect the defense to fix what we have to fix and then continue to go forward. There's a this is the third game. You know, it's always the same goal to be 1-0, right? So, you know, we haven't deviated from that. And I think guys, are getting, you know, when you lose, you kind of get a feeling of resolve. Like, okay, I have to play better. And certain guys, we expect to play well all the time. So when that doesn't happen, you know, that's an issue. So we expect those guys to bounce back, yeah. Okay. And what our fans, what do you expect from our fans in Badalona? Let's hope that we can have a great opening this Saturday with a fully or maybe yeah I think you know we're at home so they're gonna come out you know and hopefully they'll tell a friend and so you just you always want to play well at home you want to you know we represent the fans represent the city you know so that's important and we want to get another win we got to get back to the winning on the winning side right what one thing about losing losing kind of makes you fix things you know that need to get fixed and sometimes it's not a lot of things that have to get fixed just the really really good players on our team have to play well and obviously they're not playing well, but they need to play well. Everybody collectively, especially the players that we expect that from. So last question, a little bit improve it for me now. Um, as you say, it's a long season. Um, football is tough. It's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end, I think the Spanish culture or Catalan culture, it's super, how to say, uh, he always won the best to won. It's super, um, excision with the, with the guys and with the franchise, with all, but at the end, I think, and I, is what I want to, that you say or explain a little bit your, 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 your thoughts about that, is that pro football, it's not easy. And right. it's, it's like our, our, um, our claim, no, brick by brick, so at the end, Everybody wants to win. Yeah. And not everybody can win. No. True. You, well, there's a process, right? But I think and everybody individually, like, so whatever I do, whatever I do, whatever my skill set is as a player, I just have to make sure I'm at my best on Saturday, right? I have f three days during the week to improve myself to get better. I have, you know, I, have two, I have two days to work out, to do extra conditioning, to do lift weights, all those things, right? But when it's time to play, if I'm a receiver, I need to catch balls and score touchdowns. When I'm a quarterback, I need to be efficient. 
I need to spread the ball, not turn it over, and lead the offense. You know, when I'm a defensive back, I can't get beat. You know, you know, linebackers, we have to tackle. You know, so everybody has to play their part. And so the, the, the game, the physicality, when you sign up for it, you know it's physical. Right, and it's pro football, like you just said. So expectations are always high. You know, and then you have to win, right? So if you don't win, it's like, okay, you make changes, right? But it's always based on the players, right? Players have to play well. So we have to put them in position to play well. Okay. Yeah. So finally, it's you want to say something to the fans and the guys that come to Madrid to support us and probably come this Saturday here on Badalona. And that's all? Yeah, we want to say, uh, first of all, thanks for coming to Madrid. We kind of need that, especially after the game is over. Um, you know, guys are going to get better. And so what you expect is what we expect. So like I always said, whatever the expectations are for the fans that they have for us, ours are probably a thousand times higher because that's just the pressure, right? So we just want to show well, play well, just play fast and physical and execute and less mistakes. And on defense, there's a plan like win third down, you know, win first down, second down, win third down and get off the field so offense can score. We can give them more opportunities to score. So our goal is to play well, right? If you play well on all phases, offense, defense, and special teams, we should be fine and the fans will be happy. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much.